Hallmark movies don't always intend to have societal issues addressed in their films. They are usually just heartwarming stories of love and happiness. However, sometimes Hallmark movies shed light on deep issues. So today, we're going to look at 10 Hallmark movies that tackled deep issues. First up at number 10 is A Royal Christmas. A young woman who works as a devoted seamstress at her father's tailoring business finds out her doting European boyfriend is actually a prince. She then travels to his home over Christmas to find a less than enthused mother, Queen Isadora, who makes her feel more at home with the servants than the royal family itself. The movie explores class issues through Emily's interactions with the castle staff as well as her struggles to fit in. It's clearly the queen looking down on a commoner as they say and just ousting her before even knowing who she is. The movie's message, ultimately, is that love crosses class boundaries. If I have to choose between being Prince Leopold and being with you, I choose you. I can't let you do that. Next up at number 9, we have Jesse Stone, Lost in Paradise. This crime drama is the ninth in the Jesse Stone film series based on the novels written by Robert Parker. It follows police chief Jesse Stone as he takes on several case files involving brutal murders. He takes a special interest in one particular case that is tied back to the infamous serial killer, the Boston Ripper, despite the criminal denying it. The film dives into the dark side of the fictional town of Paradise, Massachusetts. In his detective work, Stone encounters addiction, troubled homes, and the ugly side of sex work. Next up at number 8 is A Crown for Christmas. A young woman accepts a position as a governess for a European princess after getting fired from her maid position at a ritzy New York hotel. She initially butts heads with the troubled girl but eventually becomes a role model and friend to her, while falling for her widowed father King Maximilian at the same time. But a scheming countess wants the king's heart and hand in marriage and is determined to make the governess's life difficult. Theodora wants her father to marry Allie, despite his impending marriage to a countess. Similar to A Royal Christmas already mentioned on this list, the film tackles class issues through Allie's friendship with Theodora and her interaction with everyone in the royal family. Coming in at number 7 on our list is Finding Father Christmas. The trilogy follows Miranda Chester as she attempts to uncover the truth about her heritage in Carlton Heath, Vermont. She then meets and falls in love with the town's lawyer, Ian McKendrick. The series explores the idea of not only discovering one's heritage, but also reclaiming a part of one's childhood that one may have missed. This is explored in the second film of the series as Miranda prepares to celebrate Christmas with her newfound family. Next up at number 6 on our list is The Christmas Choir. This movie is based on the true story of Pierre Anthean and his creation of the Montreal Aquiel Bonneau Choir. It follows accountant Peter Brockman, whose life changes when his fiance leaves him over his workaholic tendencies. When he meets blues pianist Bob, Brockman is introduced to the residents of the homeless shelter Bob lives at. Brockman then goes to form a choir there and change everyone's lives. The movie tackles the issues of homelessness and the various issues surrounding it. It also demonstrates the dignity and fellowship each person experiences through the power of music. Now before we get into the other half of our list, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already, and click the bell icon to enable notifications so you never miss out on one of our videos. And think about joining us as one of our preferred members, which comes with exclusive perks and input on our next video topics. You can find the link to join in the description below. Coming in at number 5 is Safe Harbor. This movie follows a retired couple, Doug and Robbie, as they care for four troubled young men sentenced to a juvenile detention center. As the unlikely group interacts, bonds are forged and Doug and Robbie gain new hope for the future. The movie is based on the creation of the Safe Harbor Boys Home, a residential program for troubled and at-risk teenage boys in St. John's River, Florida. It covers the issues of rehabilitation for at-risk youth and the importance of family in these type of situations. Just so you know, Doug, we're guaranteed three meals and two free exercise periods a day. Well, the judge said you're going to work for your keep, so if you don't work, you don't eat. Next up at number four is The Note. The Note is about columnist Peyton Magruder as she tries to cope with the impending end of her newspaper. When a note addressed to T washes up on shore from a recent plane crash, Peyton discovers that it's a beautiful message from a father to his child. She then embarks on a journey to uncover the recipient of the note. The film explores the idea of love and forgiveness as Peyton's quest brings her into contact with many people who are individually touched by her message. T, 
tea. Who's tea? I don't know, but I want to find out and bring my readers along for the ride. At number three, we have Daniel's daughter. After her mother's death, a young Kate Manigan is sent away to live with her relatives, with only a promise by her father that he will come to find her. Almost three decades later, she receives a package from her late father and embarks on a journey to honor her father's last wishes. This film explores parental death as well as reclaiming parts of one's life that may have been lost or never discovered. It also explores the concept of finally realizing one's true wishes in life. Because there's something I wanted to ask you. You better make it quick. <sighs> What's going on, Kate? Next up at number two is Ladies of the House. When a town's daycare center requires repairs, the local church decides to refurbish a house and sell it. Three women, Rose, Bertie, and Elizabeth, are hired to spearhead the project. Although they are completely different, the three eventually grow closer as the project continues and their own personal issues are brought to the surface. This film explores how friendship and connections are essential for getting through hard times, such as cancer, retirement, and infidelity. Oh, we can do this! All we have to do is just fix it, paint it, sell it! Fix it, paint it, sell it! Fix it, paint it, sell it! And finally, the last movie on our list is an old-fashioned Thanksgiving. This 2008 Hallmark movie follows the Bassett family, the widowed matriarch Mary and her three children. When their farm hits hard times, daughter Tilly writes a letter to her grandmother Isabella about their plight. Being a wealthy woman, Isabella arrives at the farm to offer support. This film explores poverty and its effects on the family's struggles to get through Thanksgiving with very little money. It also explores family and reconnecting with loved ones lost to estrangement. Whatever you say, she has made us happy. Anyone who is unhappy is free to leave. Tilly! You won't fail her if you let go. And that's our list of 10 Hallmark movies that tackle deep issues. Let us know if you have a favorite Hallmark movie that addresses some issues down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And also, think about becoming a member of our channel. That membership gives you a loyalty badge for your profile and allows input on our future video topics. The link to join is in the description below. We hope you enjoyed this list, and as always, thanks for watching.